Morning. So I'm just on my way home. I've just popped up to uh, GE Refinishers to see the Allegro. Um, it was supposed to be ready today. It's Saturday the 27th of February. However, his compressor packed up earlier in the week. Um, so he hasn't been able to spray it, but he has done extra body work. Um, and like I say, I'm in no massive rush. We now are on for collection next Saturday. Like I say, suits me fine. Can't drive it because of the lockdown and stuff. So not a major issue. Um, in this video, what I've done is a amalgamation of the work start to finish that he's done. What we've agreed, um, as I think I've said before, this was merely getting all the major dents out and the major rust sorted. And then next year, over winter, we'll do the back end of the car. If you ever come and see the car, you know, if you see me knocking about, you may think, well, the, you know, the back end isn't brilliant. And it's not, there's still scabs and stuff all over the car. The whole idea was to get it looking acceptable and do bits and bobs as I go along. So next year we'll do the back end so that all the body works good. And then um, maybe eventually we may spray the whole car. I know this sounds like a complete um, daft way to do stuff, but there, when you look at it close up like I do every time I see it, there is so much imperfections all over the car to actually do the whole lot would have been a complete body strip and it just isn't financially viable in one big chunk so I'd rather spend X amount every year until I get it right and that's that's the plan anyway so yeah following this now there is footage from you know a couple of pictures of the day I got it how scabby it was to how it looks now which is just before paint. It's now waiting to go in the, uh, the spray booth. So hopefully the next video that I do will be the car fully painted. Um, there's a slight possibility he may be able to video or get someone to video through the window of the spray booth, putting some paint on. But if that's the case, I'll stick that on the beginning of, of the next video. But for now, this is the story of um, where we're at so far. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video, hopefully when we pick her up. Today we're starting work on Agatha. As you can see, she's got some little uh, rust issues on the bonnet little blobs here and there so we're just going to take the ball by the horns and strip it back to bare metal for him and uh, hopefully this will do the job and when we've done that we'll treat it and see where we go from there <coughs> right on the other side of Agatha we found it she's coming she's got some repairs to be done some local rust areas on the wing standard for the Allegro and bottom of the doors so basically we're going to cut this steel out get the paint off, find the areas that are rotten, see how far it goes down, cut the areas out and replace the steel. So we'll just have a quick look and, and see how far this, uh, this dreaded rot has gone. As you can see, we've unearthed lots of old repairs we've had on Agatha. It's people's uh, idea of Repairing rust is basically to put body fur in, which is again standard procedure for cars like this. So what we'll do is we'll cut all this out on the bottom of the door and on the wing, and then we'll send more videos of us splicing this in. working on Agatha today. Busy cutting out the rust. We've made a plate, we've joggled it, 
should just fit in there a treat. Fits in there nicely, it's getting eradicates all the rust areas. So what we'll basically do now is we'll mid that in there and then we'll start to bond it back together. Here we are, we've, we've welded it all in, spot tacked it all in. So now all we've got to do is just grind it down and I'll be ready for get some sealer in there and, and body work in. As you can see, we're doing doing some body work and I just, uh, we've knocked down the fiberglass that we've put in to seal everything up. We've already given it the first coat of filler and we've sanded that down with quarter grit. So we're just about to put the second coat of filler on, trying to make it as good as new. Present time, we're just getting the filler on in the right areas that we need it. And then we'll just take the card, smooth her over. wait for that to dry and then we'll sand it down and then it should be all good. Our coat of fill is dry so now we're just gonna sand this down and hopefully we're about there. <laughs> Knocked down, we're almost there. We've basically just got over it with a block now, and we should be about there. Right, here we are. We've, we've cut out that rot in the wing, we've mixed in, top welded in some plates over it. Now we're just going to smooth it down with a 40 and then treat it. <laughs> Treated. I'm basically going to put the first coat of fiberglass on that seals absolutely everything up. Makes it nice and rigid. Just gives the filler a good base. We'll let that go off and we, we grind it down and then we start the, the bodywork procedures. Now again, a first coat of uh, filler on top of the fiberglass that we've just knocked down. Try and get Agatha back into shape. dry we'll sand that down and then send you some more clips okay we're on Agatha again today basically she's come in with some really bad dented areas to these to these two uh, these doors so basically what we're doing is stripping the paint back um, and we're going to panel beat these to get the high spots out and then when we're all cleaned down we'll use a pin puller to pull all these dents out we'll bodywork it 
and we'll follow some more videos when we get a bit close to Pimpunny. Saturday morning, seems to be the done thing for uh, Ricky's stuff. We've done some extra bits and bobs on the on the doors here because we've got to repaint the door anyway, so we just thought we'd tickle these in for him. We've straightened them out, filled them, primed them, as such, so that's ready to go. We'll probably have to blend into the door anyway, so no doubt we'll get that one done in with it as well. Um, little bits on top of here that we found little bits of defects and umps and bumps, so we've sorted those for him as well. Uh, the bonnet's all about ready too. Um, we found other little bits and bobs on the doors here. We've got that little bit that we've done for it too. Plus these are about ready now. We've found another couple of little dinks here. We've got to paint the doors, so we've done that for him as well. So we're just about ready to go for him. There we go then. Hopefully you enjoyed that little montage of where we're at so far. Um, if you've got this far and you're not a subscriber already, please consider subscribing. At the time of doing this video, I'm this close to a thousand subscribers. It would be lovely to get to the thousand before the year anniversary of the channel on the 17th of March. Fingers crossed I get there, just because. Um, so yeah, if you do enjoy the stuff, have a look at the playlists. It's not just a leg road, there's obviously the Land Rover, there's car shows, there's other car reviews that I do. Um, give us a try, you never know what else you're gonna do. Watch Coronation Street. See you later.